how does something like that change your life? I mean, because it's it's not the equivalent of what Kevin may be experienced of having Richard Hunt throw you Elmo in the 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 Muppet room of this nothing yeah. character. You were th thrown it uh, in your lap, and it's the biggest character in the world. Um, how, yeah. how does that change your life? <laughs> um, that's a great question that I don't have an answer for. No, I think probably it, it's really hard to say because it, there certainly there are things that are afforded to you because of the work that you wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to do. Um, and I'm very aware of that. And that is something I'm very grateful for. Um, it's challenging. It's, it's, but it's, it, it's such a gift to be able to do. Uh, I take it very seriously. It's, 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 I feel, I felt the responsibility certainly at the time. Uh, it was terrifying in the moment because I didn't actually think I was going to get it. Um, and it wasn't like there was a big open call. You know, it definitely was something that Sesame felt very strongly about keeping in the family and making sure that it was somebody who really knew the character and the and and the and the crew. You know, that character is yeah. so important to the show that it was important that it be a family member to take over. And I was the newest of those family members of the immediate family. You know, and so um, it was it was challenging, but uh, you know, it was it's funny because. There were a few times previous to that that I had had experience with the puppet. You know, sometimes if Kevin was directing um, and he couldn't, if he was too busy working on the shot, uh, he would uh, he would say, here, put the puppet on and just do it for the shot. And I'll do the voice and you can lip sync. And that happened a number of times. It happened once on a live hit we were doing at Good Morning America or the Today Show or one of these things. I was brought in just to, I think I was just brought in to hold up Bert or something while Eric was doing another character. But usually when the Muppets take over those morning shows, there's always like the Muppets in the control room and, you know, chickens are everywhere. And, you know, and so we were doing that kind of thing and we were in a dressing room and everybody's, you know, doing, Rosita's doing Abby's hair and stuff like that. And almost just swinging in a chair. And um, he said, uh, put the puppet on. Uh, and it was a live hit. I was like, what? Why? He goes, put the, put the puppet on. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I put the puppet on. He goes, okay, I'll laugh. So just open the mouth when I laugh. I was like, you sure you don't want to do this in five, four, three, two, and I was just doing it. Oh and God. so I, <laughs> it was terrifying, <laughs> but you know, I was able to do it without any, but without him hating it. And so I was, I was lucky in the sense that I'd had some opportunities with that puppet previously, maybe yeah. not as much as other performers, you know, it wasn't necessarily going to be handed to me. I know that I was on a short list of people that Kevin wanted to make sure were seen, but it wasn't necessarily going to be the case that I no one was looking at Ryan to do this so uh when I got it it was a very weird feeling because I, I immediately felt oh don't screw this up Ryan you really have to, this is you really take this seriously um and those first first year or two were rough because it it is a it, it's um you know it's something that's part of my daily life now but in the beginning you're the first one on set and you're the last one to leave and you're on set all day. Cause Elmo's in every show. And even if he's not the main character of every show, he's going to be in most shows. So just having that sort of, um, uh, stamina was, was a big learning curve, all those kind of things. It's different than when you're sort of right handing or doing backup, you can kind of go and take breaks and hang out and stuff like that. And, and, and when you're playing a main character, you really have to commit all day to that. Um, I've learned to love that. Um, and uh, what it afforded me too was was a relationship with the crew. You know, they're they're like my extended family. I, I see them all the time. When we're working, and you know, it's just so great to have that support system. But uh, yeah, I mean, it just it does take you, especially as a puppeteer, it's another world. You know, we're used to sort of um, most puppeteers are used to being supporting players not some maybe not necessarily by choice but it is what it is you know there's there's a there's not a lot of puppet work and and um so i kind of was i was content really to do that i i, I don't really i didn't have aspirations of necessarily taking anything over also because i had my own side work and i think that's something that's really important just having your own thing because um i love playing Elmo it's 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 such a joy and 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 being with kids and, and and sharing experiences with fans is just so cool um but at the end of the day it's also really nice to have something you can call your own um 
certainly there are, uh, you know, there's a big responsibility with Elmo, um, making sure that we're keeping the legacy going. Um, it's a, it's a tough thing, but, um, there, I'm also honored to do that. You know, it's to, I sometimes pinch myself thinking that, you know, you're, 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 you're helping keep the show going. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm super grateful for that.